Well, hello. This week I have brought you to Llyn Van Vach, a little bit of a mouthful, in the Brecon Beacons. I'm super excited. I've just arrived and guess what? It's free parking. Yay! So for everyone who's new here, welcome. Hello, I'm Emma. This is my channel, um, full of adventure inspiration. So let's see what we can find in Llynavanbach. Here we are, and look at this beautiful starting point. So lovely. And even better that it's free. I am so happy about that right now. By the way, Portaloo's that away, just in case. So a mile and a half this way and we will come up to Llyn Ivan Vach. We have a local resident just chilling, welcoming visitors. And there's a bridge, so already best adventure ever. Very sunny today and uh, I seem to have misplaced my sunglasses, so I do apologize for the squints. And I do have to get my shimmy on a little bit today because uh, I really want to get some nice aerial shots up here. But the weather is meant to be changing soon, as it does in Brecon very quickly. So, uh, yeah, I need to get up there and get as much as I can before the wind really picks up later. Here we go. Ooh, another bridge. We may potentially have a uh, Mexican standoff situation coming right up with the local residents. Never mind. I come in peace. Hey, where are you going? Over there. <laughs> oh, this guy's didn't get the memo. Okay, bye. friendly bunch. I have another bridge. I may take this opportunity to take off my jacket. It is quite warm. Ah, oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. That's better. One layer down already. So, truth be told, I've actually had a really difficult week. It's just been quite a challenge with van issues, health issues, just stuff like that. I'm really sorry, but I'm distracted by a mini bridge. Ooh, what is it? Yeah, so I've had a bit of a tough week, a bit of a challenging week. You know, sometimes those just happen and it just feels like nothing really goes your way. So today I uh, started feeling a bit better and I really needed to blow away the cobwebs. So here I am, solo adventure, Brecon Beacons, big lake with a bit of myth and uh, history behind it. So it should be a really good one. I'm across this little building, private property. So we're gonna go this way. definitely not a strenuous walk but it does get you a bit out of breath and a bit warm because that heart rate up. Does anybody know what this is? I have no idea. Maybe they're purifying the water? I don't know. A bit further along and there's another bridge and some very dramatic mountains in the background. And now we have a little water stop for the dogs. I didn't bring Diego today, but he would appreciate this. It is so beautiful around here. So the nearest village is called Llandoi Sant. Llandoi Sant. And translated, 
So Llan means uh, church. The means like two. It's like a variation of two. And Sant means saint, so translates to the Church of Two Saints. So there's got to be some sort of uh, history behind that name. I really love uh, looking at the history of names and etymology and stuff like that. I find it super, super interesting. So yeah, Llan Dui Sant, park in and just make your way up to Llena Van Vach. Come to a crossroads. Um, which way to go? I think I'm gonna go with the right. Yeah, let's go right. Okay, followed the path all the way up. Look at this view. Man, it's cool. I feel like we're really close now. Ground is quite squidgy. Here we go. So, this is actually a glacial lake. It was formed here 11,400 years ago. So it's been here quite a while. Um, it's absolutely beautiful around. I am going to walk up to the ridge. So I'm gonna walk all along up there and uh, see if we can get a better vantage point. think of my homeland then let me know in the comments and also remember sub to uh, subscribe if you like this type of thing and also share with your adventure buddies um, if you need some inspiration go and take a look at my playlists I've got one for Wales um, which I keep adding to with places like this so yeah let me know what you think There's a view for you. We are at the top of Schönbahnbach. I power walked all the way up here, like full on power walk to try and beat this wind. Um, so now, it's time for a well-deserved snack and water break. Take some time to admire the view. There's something pretty curious over there, so I'm gonna go check it out. Woo, look at this view. Just a pile of bricks. Anyone know the meaning of this? Ah, oh, wheels. Looks 
looks nice today. This was my snack. And it's trying to be a cookie, but not really doing a good job at it. A little bit disappointed with my snack. Better snacks next time. I am back on the track on the way down. It's way more sheltered here from the wind. As you can imagine, up on that ridge there, there is zero protection from the wind, uh, but down here it's lovely. However, I would say there is like, you have to go up. Like if you come here, if you cut them this far, you have to just go up the hill and get the views from up the hill because it's beautiful. It's so much different. The different perspective is, uh, is really cool. Oh, the colors are just so nice now. Such deep greens everywhere. Green, 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 green. Next time I come here, I think I will leave a little bit earlier to give myself more time and also trek over to Llinavan Vaur. So Llinavan Vach, um, so Vach and Bach. So Bach, mutated Vach means small or little so this is the little lake but Llinavan Vaur or Maur when it's not mutated is big so there is a Grande Lake around here and I want to find out why so the next time uh, that's what I'm gonna do so don't miss that video best way not to do that is to subscribe story time so with every place like this there tends to be a mythical fairy tale legend uh, that surrounds it and Llyna Van Vach is no different. This is the story The Lady of the Lake. A young man used to take his cattle to graze on the Black Mountain. One day he saw a lady sitting on the water combing her hair. Admiring her beauty he offered her bread and cheese but she refused saying and baked is thy bread I will not have thee. She refused him on a second occasion, but on his third visit to the lake she accepted his gift and agreed to marry him. Her dowry was sheep, cattle, goats and horses, but she warned him, Strike me without cause three times and you shall lose me. They lived together with their family, but alas, he did strike her three times. Though his actions were without malice, she returned to the lake with all of her animals. She would later appear to her sons and show them herbs with medicinal uses. They went on to become the famous physicians of Madhvai. As you relax and admire the breathtaking scenery around the lake shores, remember to keep an eye out for the Lady of the Lake sitting upon the water. Fishies! They're fish in the lake. <laughs> 